so in previous class i have explained what are the topics i am going to be covering in this course so the topics are first one is nothing but mute flows and second one is transformation and third one is apa creation and fourth one is m unit testing fifth one is error handling and it can also called as exception handling and sixth one which is the security policies and finally seventh one is reply so these are the topics i am going to be cover in this course so first what is meant by mute flows a flow is nothing but combination of palette so in this topic we are going to be cover what is meant by palette and how to configure the palette and what is the mule message structure and how can we deploy our project in local mission and how can we debug our project and this is about basic information about the flows so based on the palace and how to configure the palace and how can we how the palette is going to be run on the basing of the mule message structure and how can we run our project and how can we debug our project each and everything we are going to be learn in this mule flows topic so it is completely drag and drop up to 80% we are going to be drag and drop the palette and give the configuration and getting the data and it is going to be sending to the another palette so in this way how the flow is going to be how the data is going to be transferred from one pallet to another pallet and how it is going to be running each and everything we are going to be discuss in this mule flows topic and second one is nothing but transformation <laughs> here transformation each technology has its own language like java is own format and salesforce has its own format and .net has its own format and in the same way in order to do the transformation mules of support a language called data view language so by using this language we are going to be convert the data from one language into another language so in this transformation topic we are going to be learn how to convert a json format into into json format inside json how can we transfer the uh, modulation we can see and also we can see json to xml conversion and xml to json conversion and json to csv conversion and csv to json conversion so most properly our process is coming in json format and i am going to be explain how the json for, format is going to be created and how it is going to be converted into the another format each and everything we are going to be discuss inside transformation topic here i have mentioned that data view language so can we learn any prerequisites to execute data view language means there is no prerequisites to learn data view labs so if you have good knowledge on there is a some syntactical based language data data view language is a syntactical based language there are some syntaxes are there so based on these syntaxes we are going to be convert the data from one language into another language so i i will explain how we can going to be convert our data into the another one format to another format and how can we utilize data view language by using syntactical based language we can explain and third one is apa creation so apa is nothing but a service so once we develop the services we can reuse for multiple application 
So here, uh, I will take an example. So if you go to any new website, so if you want to purchase some sort of, if you want to normally go to Flipkart or Amazon, any other thing, So here, if you want to click on login, so some websites here we are going to be getting like, we are going to be logging by using your Gmail account or Facebook account or any other thing. If you go to LinkedIn or any other thing. So if you click on login, so here sign in with Google and sign in with Apple. And sometimes we are going to be getting using sign in with Facebook also. So here we are using the login credentials of Gmail account or application of our Gmail sign-in account. We are going to be entered into the LinkedIn account. So these type of applications, we are going to be created very easily by using RAML language inside MuleSoft. So here RAML full form is RESTful API modeling language. So here, here also I have mentioned it is a language. So can we learn any prerequisites to learn RAML language means we don't want to learn any prerequisites language for RAML language. It is a structured based language structure. So based on the structure, we are going to be design an application. So once we design one or two RAMLs, it is similar for remaining RAMLs also. So we can copy the old RAML and we can develop the new RAML. We have to change the names and services inside this. So we don't want to bother about, uh, we can also by heart the RAML also it is easy we can once we can learn one single ramal it is similar for remaining ramals also so based on the structure how we can develop the ramal and how we can apply best policies inside this ramal each and everything we are going to be discussed at the time of api creation and fourth one is m unit testing so m unit testing full form is mule unit testing here, mule unit testing. So why do we you do mule unit testing means? So not only mule soft only. So if you go to any other technology, after the developmenting of their project, they are undergoing to testing the project before going to be deployed, before going to be production. They are going to be test what type of actions it is going to be performing. So they are going to be write test cases. In the same way, here also we can write test cases. So here we can create mule flows. So how we can write a test cases on mule flows and each and everything, what are the palaces going to be used and how can we test write a test cases, each and everything we are going to be discussed at the time of M unit test. And fifth one is error handling. So and also it is called as exception handling. So what is error handling and why it is going to be used means so if you want to transfer a large data from one application to another application so suddenly the data is not going from one application to another application at this situation we are going to be getting an error message that is a system generated error message that system generated error message cannot understand by the end user those who are using this application. So for this reason, in order to understand those who are using the application in the in their perspective view, we are going to be described in user understandable format error messages. And here also we are using some of the palace and what are the palace we are going to be used and how can we configure those palace and how can we handle the address each and everything we are going to be discussed at the time of error handling comes. And sixth one is security policies. So after creating an application, so 
if anyone uses our application there is no security is there so if you want to apply security policies to our application so we can reduce uh, who can access our application we can limit the permission and we can provide some security on that application here what are the latest security policies available in the market the same security policies we are going to be applied to our application so whatever the application we have created inside the ramal for that application we are going to be apply security policies so in the market the latest security policies are first i am going to be explain basic authentication and second one is client id enforcement and third one is service level agreement policies and fourth one is proxy or gateway and finally fifth one which is like oauth authentication so these are the latest security policies those are applied to each and every application and what is the difference between basic authentication client id enforcement and uh, why do we use more policies and how can we configure these security policies to our application and what authentication each and everything i am going to be explain at the time of security policies and finally deployment so after developmenting of completing of our project we are going to be deploy our project in on premises or cloud or hybrid so you know okay nice okay so uh, we can deploy our project in on premises cloud deployment or hybrid model so most probably these days every company they are going to be deploy their project in cloud so in this deployment process i am going to be explain how to deploy our project in cloud hub and uh, uh, how can we apply uh, so how to apply uh, our project in cloud hub we are going to be discuss at the time of deployment process so these are the seven topics we are going to be cover inside mulesoft and also in order to perform all these topics so we require a software so what are the softwares we require means the first one is any point studio it is a and uh, sorry any point studio and second one is any point platform so here any point studio is a software so we have to download the software and we are going to be working on this software and any point platform is a it is not a software it is a cloud based web application and we have to create an account in order to perform all these operations so, so what are the operations we are going to be performing on any point studio means so inside any point studio so we are going to be create mule flows and do transformation and doing mnet testing and handling errors these are the topics we are going to be cover inside any point studio what are the topics means 1 2 4 5 these are the topics we are going to be cover inside any point studio in any point platform we are going to be cover so what are the topics means remaining topics so that is api creation applying security policies and deploy our project in cloud these are the topics we are going to be cover inside any point platform 3 6 and 7 and in order to these two application we have to require another application that is a postman so postman is a why do we use postman means whatever the application we are going to be created inside any point studio or any point platform so it is going to be done by unit testing by using postman so how can we test uh, how can we test our application and how can we write test scenario see each and everything we are going to be covered inside a postman so these are the pre requisites we in order to work on mules so up to that any doubts regarding this nee cheppinanta varaku ardham ayyandandi emana doubts em unnaya hello
I am going to be explain how to download the AnyPy Studio software and how can we install our software into our local machine and how can we create an account inside any point platform also i am going to explain so before that is there any doubts regarding topics or any other thing anyone respond hello no sir carry on okay and new person subhash or uh, subhash mitra sir okay uh tell me uh yeah, no doubt. Any uh, Japan. <coughs> Japan, okay. is yeah, there no any doubt. No. Oh, oh. okay so i am going to be explain how to download any point studio and how can we install this software into our local mission so first go to google type google Type any point studio download. So here we have to provide Mule Studio. Mule Studio. So could you please mute? Okay, and select a version, latest version, and uh, Windows, and we have to provide even name and last name, and uh, we have to provide dummy email also not a problem, and your company details, and click on I agree. So it was C two N office. We can provide dummy details also not a problem here. Must be valid in okay. So it was changed. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. So everything has changed. That's the reason. Recently updated the software, each and everything. That is why we are not getting oh, yeah, is it? any point studio download. So, studio latest. Operating system windows. Here we have to provide uh, correct details. Then only we are going to be getting and we are going to be download the software. And Previous can then take them the changes and take what the upgrade is. You want to download link which in the so you can actually go to download page. You can click on download automatically download it then. So latest version of Chesarki in the versions on Tandy. So present latest version of Chesarki 7.14.0. So any point studio and key versions on the latest version of Chesarki 7.14.0 is the latest version. So uh, previous versions key the Nikimajuna differences in the Nadata. So there is no differences in the previous version 
So what are the applications we are going to be performing in latest version? The same actions we are going to be performing on old versions also. So present I am using 7.12 also. There is no differences. version update So application lo is small small changes on the data view made a bunch of operation like both the runtime engine either match in the day a small applications and any change for every month of a new application and the upgrade out on the other new version and the works on the so old version key the key 20 differences on the chase a action method similar gun on the alaga any point platform versions of the game versions of the day then key the cloud blessed web application gravity there is no operation there is no version server so here any point studio is the uh, latest version is 7.14.0 and in the low runtime version with the present latest runtime one is version of the 4.4 is the latest runtime version based on this we are going to be deploy our application in runtime in general so once we are download chase in the Ravata download any show in folder so you can go so then kajya sandi Sony 7.14. You can the other right click extract here and Japan. So before that, you can delete the Wait a second. So you can delete the Okay, so me read the latest version download chase or a rare file in the right click G extract here in Japan automatically okay studio name to any file studio download a under on a file sending in the local side. So once your extraction complete type and data, make it clear. If it doesn't complete that, so in the low studio icon, then me the double time click just the automatic gun me application and the open I pay that. So we don't do any sort of install like installation like previous case that software install share and then there is. Uh, double click on that software that what they are making next 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 and now so you can next next mechanism and they want to do just to 
ఆ స్టూడియోని సారీ ఆ అప్లికేషన్ని ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ చేసి అందులో స్టూడియో ఐకాన్ ఉంటుందండి దాని మీద డబల్ ట్యాంక్ క్లిక్ చేస్తే ఆటోమేటిక్గా మీ అప్లికేషను అలాగే ఇక్కడ మీరు వర్క్ స్పేస్ అనేది సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకోవాలి వర్క్ స్పేస్ సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకున్న తర్వాత క్లిక్ ఆన్ లాంచ్ అంటే ఆటోమేటిక్గా మీ అప్లికేషన్ అనేది ఓపెన్ అవుతుంది సో ఇది ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ అవ్వడానికి కొంచెం టైం పడుతుంది సో ఆఫ్టర్ కంప్లీషన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎక్స్ట్రాక్షన్ ఆల్సో ఐ ఆమ్ గోయింగ్ టు బి షో హౌ టు ఓపెన్ అవర్ అప్లికేషన్ ఆల్సో సో మీకు బిఫోర్ దట్ ఏంటంటే సో జస్ట్ మనకి వర్క్ స్పేస్ ఇస్తాము దాని తర్వాత ఏంటంటే సారీ వర్క్ స్పేస్ ఇచ్చిన తర్వాత ఆటోమేటిక్గా ఈ వర్షన్ అనేది ఓపెన్ అయింది ఇప్పుడు నేను ప్రజెంట్ రన్నింగ్ చేస్తున్న సిస్టమ్లో ఉన్న అప్లికేషన్ వర్షన్ వచ్చేసరికి సెవెన్ పాయింట్ వన్ టూ అండి సో లేటెస్ట్ వర్షన్ నేను ఇప్పుడు డౌన్లోడ్ చేసింది ఏంటంటే సెవెన్ పాయింట్ వన్ ఫోర్ సో మీకు ఈ వర్షన్ చూపిస్తాను లేటెస్ట్ వర్షన్ కూడా చూపిస్తాను సో బిఫోర్ కంప్లీషన్ దిస్ చూడండి అప్లికేషన్లో ఎటువంటి చేంజెస్ అయితే ఉండదు చేసే యాక్టివిటీస్ అనేది సిమిలర్ సో మీరు ఎప్పుడైనా ఓల్డ్ వర్షన్స్ వాడారంటే దానికి దీనికి ఎటువంటి డిఫరెన్సెస్ ఉండదు ఆఫ్టర్ బిఫోర్ సెవెన్ అంటే ఇక్కడ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ సంథింగ్ ఉంటుంది అది వచ్చేసరికి మ్యూల్ త్రీ అండి సో ప్రజెంట్ మనం వర్కింగ్ అవుతుంది మ్యూల్ ఫోర్ మీద రన్నింగ్ అవుతున్నాము సో మ్యూల్ త్రీకి మ్యూల్ ఫోర్కి కొంచెం డిఫరెన్సెస్ ఉన్నాయి సో మ్యూల్ ఫోర్ వచ్చేసరికి సెవెన్ పాయింట్ వన్ టూ కాని సెవెన్ పాయింట్ జీరో కాని నుంచి స్టార్ట్ అయినాయి సెవెన్ పాయింట్ జీరోకి కాని నుంచి సెవెన్ మ్యూల్ ఫోర్ బిఫోర్ సెవెన్ అంటే సిక్స్ కానీ ఏదైనా వస్తే ఏంటంటే అది మ్యూల్ త్రీ కాంబినేషన్ కిందకు వచ్చింది సో మ్యూల్ త్రీకి మ్యూల్ ఫోర్కి డిఫరెన్సెస్ ఉంది సో ఈ మ్యూల్ త్రీకి మ్యూల్ ఫోర్కి ఉన్న డిఫరెన్సెస్ నాట్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లం అండ్ మెయిన్ గా ఫోకస్ చేసేది ఏంటంటే ఇప్పుడు వర్క్ అవుతున్న ప్రాసెస్ అనేది మ్యూల్ ఫోర్ మీద వర్క్ అవుతుంది కంప్లీట్ అయితే అదిగా చూపిస్తుంది సో ఇక్కడ దాకా ఏమైనా డౌట్ ఉందండి ఎక్స్ట్రాక్షన్ చేయడం కానీ లేకపోతే అప్లికేషన్ రన్ చేయడం కానీ హలో ఇది లోడ్ అవడానికి కొంచెం టైం పట్టిందండి చూపిస్తాను ఓకే సో నేను మళ్ళీ చూపిస్తాను ఇది ఓపెన్ అయిన తర్వాత సో బిఫోర్ దట్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ అన్ అకౌంట్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ఎనీ పాయింట్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ కూడా మనం చూద్దాం సో ఎనీ పాయింట్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ అకౌంట్ క్రియేట్ చేయడానికి ఏంటంటే మనం మ్యూస్ ఆఫ్ డాట్ కామ్ లోకి వెళ్తుంది సో ఇక్కడ లాగిన్ లో ఎనీ పాయింట్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ చెప్పండి యూ డోంట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ నాట్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లమ్ అండ్ సో ఇఫ్ సో so uh, present i am using a version name is 7.12 so the latest version is 7.14 so there is no differences between the versions so uh, what are the main differences between the previous versions and old versions is uh, there is a some sort of changes is occurs inside a data view expression for this reason every one month they are going to be releasing a new version so if they can create uh, opening in sorry they are releasing any new version also there is no problem previous whatever the actions is there the same actions we are going to be performing on new version also and uh, here so uh, just uh, we don't want to install it there is no nest nest mechanism is there just double click on just extract our application 
and there is a studio icon is there just to double click on studio icon and we have to provide our workspace automatically it is going to be opening like this so i will show the 7.14 version also inside this there is a runtime version is there so if you create any other application so here we have a runtime version is there mule server runtime version so we are going to be deploy our project in our local machine by using this server mule server 4.4.0 e means enterprise edition so this is 7.12 version so these are called palettes these are called palettes. So here we can see how can we configure this palace and how to uh, configure this palace each and everything we are going to be discuss. These are some of the connectors also be there and each and everything we are going to be discuss. And uh, I'm going to close this. Wait a second. And uh, so previously I have install, uh, installed a software here. I have extracted this. So here also studio icon is there, just double click on studio icon. This is 7.14. Just now I have downloaded the software. So here we have to provide the workspace. So whatever the workspace is going to be provided here. So what are the applications or what are the uh, so applications we are going to be created inside any Pi Studio? Those can be stored inside this workspace like C drive, users and Lenovo. Inside there is any Pi Studio folder is there. Inside this we are going to be create workspace. So whatever the application we are going to be created inside this workspace, those can be stored inside this workspace. So click on launch. Initially, it takes some sort of time in order to load our application. So whenever it, it is opening, for that time, it, it opens very quickly. Why does it? takes so much of time means so because uh, all the softwares it is going to be in built in uh, so many jar files are available in order to load all jar files it takes time so why do we why do they create a jar files means for each application it is going to be com compressed into the jar files like uh, uh, there is a java files are there there is some other connectors are there so in order to access that connectors also uh, it is going to be compressed into the jar file. So for this reason, in order to load all these applications, it takes time. So here it opens like this. Okay, actually there is workspace for this reason. Okay, the second here going to be switch the workspace. Actually, this is the old workspace. Is there? Uh, it opens the old workspace. Here I am going to be created a new workspace.
फाइंड स्टूडियो फोर्टीन पॉइंट जीरो स्टूडियो वर्क स्पेस क्लिक ऑन वॉच okay it will take time and uh, i am going to be explain how to create an account inside any point platform also so for this reason we have to go to google drive and here we have to type mulesoft.com and here there is a login session is there and click on any point platform and here we have to provide our own credentials and we have to access this application so here if you have a account we have to provide your credentials otherwise if you don't have a account click on sign up and here we have to provide your full name and details so name Usernames. Here we have to provide the password. So like one two. Click on I am not a robot and click on I agree the terms and condition. Click on accept and create account. so it automatically creates your account so here we have to provide since c2n5 is the username and here c2n is your company name this is a business group and coming to here left side here we have different types of elements as the design center exchange data graph and access management api manager and runtime manager and api governments there are so many tabs are available each tab has its own behavior ikkada na prathi tab ku okokka daniki okokka behavior undi so depending upon our requirement we have to use corresponding tab so here design center tab why do we use design center tab means so in order to create applications so we are going to be use design center tab so how can we create an uh, how can we create applications inside design center we are going to be see okay and uh, next exchange tab why do we use exchange tab means in uh, demo session i have explained so in order to connect with different application we required connectors so here there is a provided by mulesoft is there so at the time of demo i have explained that there are so many connectors that was already built by mulesoft so here we have seen the connectors so we don't know how many connectors are available here so it is continuously loading depending upon our requirement we have to collect this connector from this exchange tab and it is going to be added to any point studio so how can we add this uh, any point studio how can we add this connector to any point studio each and everything we are going to be discuss and also there is a ctn this means uh whatever the applications we are going to be created and it is going to be stored here so how it is going to be working each and everything we are going to be discuss and coming to downside and management center so inside this management center we have a access management tab so it is called administrator of our any point platform 
So by using this access management tab, so we can create different types of applications. So different types of users also, different types of business groups. So this is called administrator of any point platform. So normally this account doesn't provided by the news. Uh, while we are going to be entering to the project, this tab is not provided. So this is under the control of uh, our own. So this is under the control of uh, architect. Mana, in order to provide the access of this access management tab, uh, we have to ask the architect. Uh, it has a permission of architect has a permission of access management tab. and also and uh, API manager tab. Why do we use API manager tab? Means so in order to apply security policies to our application by using API manager tab, we are going to be apply security policies to our application. So this is called administrator of API. API administrator. API manager tab also called as API administrator. So this is called API administrator. So by using this uh, API administrator tab, we are going to be apply security policies to our application and runtime manager. So why do we use runtime manager means? So uh, here, in order to deploy our project in Cloud Hub, by using runtime manager tab, we are going to be deploy our project in Cloud Hub. So how this uh, tabs is going to be working, each and everything we are going to be discussing in the in our class and coming to main session and coming to downside so from this onwards also we are going to be download any point studio so click on download here also it leads to any point uh, mills of any point studio download so here also we have to log in to uh, we have to provide our details and we have to click on here and click on download automatically download the any point studio also from here onwards so here they have provided 30 day free trial pack. So why it is going to be provided 30 day free trial pack? After completion of the 30 days, will it work means? So here we have downloaded the software and it is going to be installed into your local machine. So after completing of 30 days also, it is going to be working smoothly. So why it is providing 30 days free trial pack means? So after completing of the 30 days, so they are going to be releasing a new version. For this reason, they are going to be provided 30 days free trial. So every 30 days or 45 days, they are going to be releasing a new version. So they are going to be added some of the uh, advanced sessions and it is going to be released a new version. What are the drawbacks we are going to be facing in the previous version? It can be rectified and it can be upgraded and it, they are going to be releasing a new version. And for this reason, they are providing a 30 day free trial. And here, any point version platform also free trial and it will provide for 30 days. After completing of the 30 days, we are going to be create an account inside any point platform and we are going to be logging into the new version. So whatever the actions or whatever the applications we are going to be created in a previous version. So those versions can be, so whatever the applications you have created, you can see it but you cannot modify the applications. This is the drawback. Why they are providing 30 day pre-trade back means, so any point platform is a completely cloud-based web application. So cloud-based web application is a very expensive. For this reason, they are going to be provided 30 day pre-trade back. After completing of the 30 days, we are going to be logging into our application, but we cannot do modification. This is the this is where they are providing 30 day pre trial pack. And here we have documentation and training and support center and forums also be there. So here documentation means, so this is the library of the any points, sorry, mulesoft.com. So here we can search, click on documentation. So they have a blend releases most. So whatever the latest application they are going to be provided and each and everything they are implemented inside this uh, documentation. So from this also we can learn, uh, this is called library of the Mulesoft. So here we can learn if you want to search any 
uh, if you want to know any other connector we can type here and corresponding information we are going to be get inside this documentation so if you want to know more information about this so here also we can collect the information and second one is training so uh, there is a training uh, portal is also available inside this mulesoft uh, uh, and it is a pre version so here also we have to provide our details and we are going to be click on login so training forums course registration click on course registration and here click on training here we have to create an account inside a training account like here we have to provide your uh, details correctly and we are going to be uh, there is a test is there after completing of uh, there is a training uh, we have to attend a mcd level 1 examination for this uh, for this after completion of the training we have to attend mcd level 1 level 1 examination they are providing a free coupon so if you want to uh, directly apply to the mcd level 1 examination they will charge $250 so without charging $250 so after completing of the training course they are providing a coupons so by using these coupons we are going to be take the test for two times so so when will you going to be start the training center training uh, training and uh, after completing of this uh, if there is any terms is there i will provide it this and we can take the mcd level 1 examination previously the test pattern has changed recently for the last uh, two days ago so whenever i got the new terms i am going to be provided to you you can take the test also and uh, try to do the practice session also training center and uh, support center and forums if you have any doubts regarding any other topics we can post in support center or forums and they will provide the answer before posting the any questions so we have to check uh, is there any question related to our doubt and they have already provided some of the examples are there so previous questions are there so based on this whatever the questions you have raised whether it is available or not you have to check it otherwise you have to post your question and you will get the corresponding response from the uh, those who have developed the software so this is about support center and forums and coming here it's not working process run on so up to that any does regarding the software downloading and creating an account inside any point platform is there any doubts siva and chinnu subhash Mehta. Hello. Do you have any doors, Balaji? Yes, sir. I downloaded the software now. I'm sorry. There's no issue, sir. Are the install outlet? Install outlet. Yeah, application open outlet. Application open out on time, but it's a bunch of Okay. I will try again, sir. Oh, sir, try checking. So, it can have okay. the same very problem. Chale. So, name Mali open chance. Mm -hmm. oh. If you have any doors, uh, Shiva, do you have any doors? No, sir. Subhash, do you have any doors? Yeah. So, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sir, I, I didn't download the software, but uh, your data I download. So, okay. till now, I, I don't have any doubt. Okay. So, along these two softwares, we required another software. The software is Postman. So, this is also open source. Oh, sorry. Open source. So, directly, you have to click on Postman download. And download Postman. And here, we have to select it. Windows 64 bit automatically there is a .exe file is downloaded 
just double click on dot exe file and there is a nest nest mechanism is there just to click on nest nest automatically this postman software is going to be installed in our local machine so after this so After this, uh, there is an icon is coming like this. This is the postman icon. Just to double click on postman icon. it is opening like this so by using this we can test the whatever the application we have created in any, inside any point studio or any point platform so we can write a uh, we can test our application so here we have to provide our url based on this url whatever the output is going to be coming here we can observe we can uh, get the responses here and previously so I have opened sound point one two. So if you open sound point two, continue as a studio. So here it is opening like this. So whenever we are going to be opening a new application, it is opening like this. So we have to click, click on continue as a studio. And if you want, so this is the runtime version 4.4.0, EE means enterprise edition. And if you want to create any new application inside this any point studio go to file and click on new and create a project new project and here we have to provide the name of the project so whatever the name we are going to be provided like a sample click on finish initially it takes time in order to load all the software all the jar files for this reason it takes time so once it is opening, so uh, remaining time, if you open uh, this application, it opens very fastly. Okay. So okay. click on finish. And so whatever the name we are going to be assigned to the mule project, on that name, here we are going to be generated a name here. And there is a folder structure is there. I am going to be explaining about this folder structure. And when will you use each folder, I am going to be explaining. There is a jar files is there automatically there is a jar, uh, java related jar files also be there because this application entirely developed by java technology okay so background it is going to be generated by java technology and this is about palace and which palette is going to be used at the time of project and how can we configure those palette each and everything we are going to discuss is there any doubts Balaji? As of now, no, sir. Okay. So, and remaining persons, Siva and uh, Subhash Mitra. Sir, uh, so JSON, XML, CSV, so file ship per color, Marco, are you? Idea level. So then go and check explain and make XML idea on it. XML idea on it. XML we do okay. B form sigata ila on it XML. Mik Chiptano uh Mik format to chip it up in the country. So in our in the background line that pretty the in the monkey XML format run out with it. Okay. Mik explain just an XML format allowed with the so how can we convert it into JSON format into XML format, CSV format allowed thing? So Pratidhi me explain yes. Two pitchy, then it make conversion yes. Not a problem. Okay. Okay. Remind. Uh, Subhashmita, do you have any doubts? Uh, are you comfortable uh, with English and uh, 
is there any yes, yeah i'm comfortable with english okay yeah so should we have to learn the xml sir uh we don't need to learn xml so first we have to know the structure of xml and how okay. it is going to be looking based on this we are going to be uh it lays some of the syntaxes and we are going to be working on we are going to be convert that data into the corresponding format అంటే ఎక్స్ఎంఎల్ ఫార్మేట్ ని బేస్ చేసుకొని మనం జేసన్ ఫార్మేట్ కి ఎలా కన్వర్ట్ చేస్తాం ఆ ఎక్స్ఎంఎల్ ఫార్మేట్ ఎలా ఉంటుంది ఓపెన్ ట్యాగ్ క్లోజ్ ట్యాగ్ ఉంటుంది సో ఎక్స్ఎంఎల్ ఫార్మేట్ ఈస్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ ఓపెన్ ట్యాగ్ అండ్ క్లోజ్ ట్యాగ్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు అప్లై దిస్ ద సేమ్ సినారియో ఇన్ సైడ్ వైల్ కన్వర్టింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద అదర్ ఫార్మేట్ ఓకే సార్ సో బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ఇన్పుట్ బేస్డ్ మీద అవుట్పుట్ ను కూడా మనం ఎస్టిమేట్ చేయాలి సో డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ దిస్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బి రైట్ ఏ సింటాక్స్ ఓకే సార్ okay so try to download the software and try to create an account inside any point platform and try to create an account inside trial ahead also so this will be helpful and i am going to be explain when will you going to be start the trial head because so initially if you start the trial head they are going to be starting from any point platform raml creation so you are not understanding why it is going to be created raml how it is going to be coming you cannot understand for this reason so i am going to, after completing up the raml creation you can start the training center then you can going to be understand how the flow is going to be uh, going from one pallet to another pallet how can we write a raml and how can we import the raml into our local machine and each and everything that is why so try to create an account inside training center also trial head and it will helpful whenever we are going to be start the trial head we can easily start the session okay and if any doubts let me clarify okay okay and so i am going to be close the session okay uh, sir uh, and, and, what, what are the prerequisite uh, uh, for it like uh, except uh, some xml structure uh, is there any connection with java language or uh, any so prerequisite some of, some of the projects uh, they have in java language so previously we are using java language in order to convert the data from uh one language into another language so now they have created data view language so by using this language we can easily convert the data from one language to another language so we don't want any prerequisites to learn uh any other languages if you have a knowledge on java it is helpful sometimes some projects uh, we are going to be working on java based uh, most of the time we are not working on java based also. that is the reason so i am going to be explain if you have good command on data view uh, we can survey not a problem so uh, we don't require any prerequisites also uh, just to normal syntax so uh, if you want to apply some cases on excel commands like excel uh, functionalities are there like if you want to apply condition inside excel like a normal so those uh, small small syntaxes is there so based on that syntaxes we are going to be convert the data okay so any doubts no. okay i am going to close the session okay thank you only thank you for the participation thank you sir okay.